Hello everyone, uh, this is lesson number four and in this case we are going to talk about GitLab registry. Um, let's see, we are in here in uh, lesson number four and we already cover, uh, we already talk about Docker, we already talk about the runner and in this case we are going to talk about the registry. It is really important because it's like the the, the point of uh, the, the central point of communication between all the models we have this is uh, let me let me open the 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 project the project we were using in the last in the last video GitLab CI CD tutorial and now I'm in here in the in the registry let's talk about it uh, registry is something almost the same to the repository but in this case it is a repository when we store a docker image and for example we have a, a when, when we are building a project we have we're using git and we have different branch we have different version of our project we can have something similar uh, using the registry but in this case this registry will store our image it means that as we have many branches we will have many image stored in, in stories in here using different tags the tag is something additional to the name for example let's suppose we have a project and we have version number one version number two and version number three and we will tag the project with the version of the current project for example we will tag the the image with the i don't know the the, the name of the branch for example if we would we want to track the image with the with the branch name we will also tag an, an image with the release name and it depends on, of what we want but in general uh, when we build the project we store the files in the in the docker in the in the image we built as we are be talking to, uh, in the previous video as you remember we we create these files the ones we have in custom image in the last video and it is a docker file in this file we already built an ubuntu with apache 2 image and in that case we we didn't store any 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 file in here just the default file it is the index.html but when we are building uh, our own image for a project we will like to copy the the files from one place to another for example in here i i can set something i can say something like it is a also a keyword in in the doc in the, used by docker it is copy and i will set for example let's suppose let me let me close this just for a better better understanding uh, i have a um, test point the test dot uh, yp i don't know hello also i can do something like this let's suppose this is an uh, it is not a significant name and let's suppose it is a help page uh, okay and sorry what we want to do is that when this project star it starts it copy uh, that file into and if we run the project from here uh, we will copy that file to the bar uh, www.html and we will use this keyword we'll specify the file it is held that html and where we want to copy this file into the container into the image we will want to copy this file into this path and when we start this uh, container it will uh, have a help that HTML into that location but in that case into the container uh, that this is the way that we are going to that it works also in GitLab because we have a project and we have a, an image what we want to do is to copy the project into the into the container into the docker uh, for the, 
that reason when we open the browser for example if that is a website for uh, or something similar accessible by web uh, we need that files into the container for that reason we copy the files from one directory into that uh, that place uh, we will talk more about it later but let's continue because in this case we are talking about GitLab registry and um, here in this this page as you can see we have some basic comments first uh, we can't log in to the registry as we already said it is similar or almost the same to repository of image also similar to docker hub we store image in there with tags and some documentation if we want and uh, let's go ahead this is the way we can access uh, the registry from docker I will do this manually for you to understand how does it work because later we are going to fit all this together let's add sudo and it will ask me for some credentials my password <coughs> let's see and we are into the registry.gitlab.com we log in to sit after that we can execute another comments okay, we are into custom image let's remove the file because it was just an example okay, let's go back and in this case let's create a new a new directory uh, registry for example and let's copy the image it was docker file let's use and we will copy this into this place see the GitLab registry we are in and now we have the docker file we are going to do the same docker file in this case what for the for the things we want to do and uh, what, what I'm going to do is I will create an image because I removed that image used for the one I create for this uh, docker file let me show you this and you can see it is not in here custom image not more in here but in this case I, I will tag this image with a different name as we can see in here we have some basic comments docker build it is almost the same as we did in the last video and um, in this case we are tagging the image just with a different name because we need to uh, use like specific names in order to give up registry to works to work and for that reason i will use this because it, it is for this project let's copy and paste as is simple as it is sudo docker build minus tag and we're done let me see and this is the repository name and it will get the docker file in the current directory and will create an image for us it is running 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 and successfully let's check Here we have the image we already built. And what what are we going to do with this? Okay, now it is locally. We can use this image wherever we want, as we did in the last video. We can start that image and we will have a container and we will access that container from a web browser. But what happens if we want to share this image with another person? Uh, or what happens if we want to, to have this image uh, online for anybody to access to access and use it where whatever he want whenever he want uh, for that reason we use the registry it is a place to store image and let's check how to do that it is as easy as docker push and the image name it is just that it is easy add sudo 
because we need permission for that and it will take some time I will stop the video uh, while it is loading and after that I will continue As, as we can see, Image is already uh, deployed, it is already pushed to the registry. Uh, let's take a look into GitLab. It is in here. It is the latest, I tagged it. I didn't tag it, but it is the default one. And also, you can take a look into this documentation to this reference we have in here because we can uh, assign different names uh, it says GitLab supports up to three levels of image names the following examples of image are valid for the project for the project sorry and the tag as we already said it, uh, you can use the the branch or whatever you want uh, for the reason uh, it depends of, of the implementation of your project but from here uh, we're already we are almost done what we are just missing in this case is for example and uh, now we have the image in here it is in the repository and for example we, if we can share this image if we need to share this image with someone else he will, the person will just need to to access this image if, if the person <laughs> has access to the project and just to pull from here and start using this image he, it, it is just like let me see I already have the image locally I think it will not Yes, as you can see in here, image is up to date for registry.gillab.com. Uh, but if I remove the image from my local machine, it will fetch the image from from the remote repository. Uh, just to finish uh, this lesson, uh, I add a new section. Uh, the section, the lesson number five. Uh, I add this lesson because I think it is really important. We already talked about Docker running a registry, and the purpose of the GitLab CI that YAML is to fit all that in together and automate all the process. Because we can create our Docker image, we can create our Docker file. Sorry, with the Docker file, we create our image manually. After that, we can push that image to the GitLab registry, and the other person will can uh, pull that image in you know, other machine as are running. Also, we can download the repository, the the source code, and build an image with that code. But all these that things are manually. For the reason, we are going to use GitLab CI that YAML file in our project, and it it will automate out the process. But we will cover we will cover this in the next lesson and for now that's all and see you in the next video thank you for